हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज माई नाइन्थ एंड लास्ट वीडियो ऑन द ऐसे बिल्डिंग एन इंटरनेट कल्चर बाय फिलिप एगर द राइटर इन दिस ऐसे हाईलाइट्स द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द इंटरनेट एज ए टूल फॉर सोशल प्रोग्रेस इंटरनेट इज हेल्पफुल इन एस्टेब्लिशिंग ए मोर डेमोक्रेटिक सोसाइटी द एसिस्ट इन द ऐसे offers some guidelines to develop an appropriate internet policy he presents 10 points which are useful in the evolution or the development of internet technology we had discussed the seven points broadly about these guidelines in my previous videos the seven, the seven points are number 1 we should not pursue the sales pitch for a new technology the writer advises that we should make a plan using our experience and common sense in buying a new machinery the second point is we should not spend a lot of money to buy machinery on the inactive institutions the third point is our main focus should be on developing people not on accumulating machinery for this such types of projects should be invited that enable us or institutions to increase the technical skills the fourth point is we should build an internet civil society by finding out those people in every sector of society that use internet for social purposes the fifth point is email technology should be used that is beneficial for all and it provides a motivation to acquire literacy skills the sixth point is extensive and analytical process of technological and cultural environment should be conducted as it will be helpful in knowing how the technology is useful for the whole way of our life the seventh point is we should identify the present existing way of sharing information and social connections and we should experiment with those ways or methods by using internet and other related technologies to enhance those ways or methods of sharing information and social connections now in this video i am going to discuss the remaining three points 8th 9th and 10th the 8th point is as following the text is don't distribute the technology randomly the writer says that we should not distribute distribute means use we should not use technology randomly means in a dis disordered way or in an unsystematic way electronic mail is useless unless the people you want to communicate with are also online the writer says that electronic mail or email will be useless if the people you want to share your information or with whom you want to communicate are not online and people will not read their email unless they want to and people will not read their email unless they want to. they want to the writer says that email will be useless if uh, the people are not online or the people are not using email if they are not opening email account then uh, your uh, device of email will be useless therefore you should focus your effort on particular communities starting with the communities that have a strong sense of identity a good record of sharing information 
एंड ए कलेक्टिव मोटिवेशन टू गेट ऑनलाइन सो द राइटर एडवाइज अस दैट वी शुड फोकस ऑन दोज पीपल वी शुड फोकस ऑन दोज पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल हु हैव ए स्ट्रॉन्ग सेंस ऑफ आइडेंटिटी ए गुड रिकॉर्ड ऑफ शेयरिंग इंफॉर्मेशन हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन शेयरिंग इंफॉर्मेशन एंड ए कलेक्टिव मोटिवेशन टू गेट ऑनलाइन एंड हु वांट हु वांट टू रिमेन ऑनलाइन एट द टाइम ई मेल इज यूजफुल द नाइन्थ पॉइंट इज फॉर चिल्ड्रन प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपीरियंस इन ऑर्गेनाइज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सोशल इवेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल थिएटर प्रोडक्शंस इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट दैन कंप्यूटर स्किल्स द राइटर सेज दैट फॉर चिल्ड्रन प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपीरियंस इन ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सोशल इवेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल थिएटर प्रोडक्शंस थिएटर प्रोडक्शन मीन्स फॉर द प्रजेंटेशन ऑन थिएटर इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट दैन कंप्यूटर स्किल्स द स्टूडेंट्स शुड बी डिवेलप्ड और दे शुड बी एनकरेज फॉर द प्रजेंटेशन ऑन थिएटर The internet can be a powerful tool for education if it is integrated into a coherent pedagogy. The internet can be a powerful tool. It can be a powerful tool for education if it is integrated, it is assimilated into a coherent or a just uh, pedagogy. Pedagogy means uh, the teaching uh, profession. or teaching learning process but someone who has experience with the so- social skills of organizing will immediately comprehend the purpose of the internet any person who has the experience of social skills of organizing he will the that person will immediately comprehend he will understand the purpose of the internet and will readily acquire the technical skills when the time comes if a person has the experience of social skills of organizing and he will use the technical skills when uh, when ever that person needs machinery does not reform society repair institutions build social networks or produce a democratic culture machinery does not reform society it does not improve or impo- uh, or reform society it does not repair institutions it does not build social networks or produce a democratic culture it does not produce a democratic culture people must do those things people should do those things and the internet is simply one tool among many internet is only a tool uh, with the people find talented people and give them the tools they need technology is to be used by people so we should find tal- talented people and give them the tools they need they should be given the tools or the instruments which they need when they do great things contribute to your society's internet culture by publicizing their ideas when talented people will do great things when they will they will do or achieve great achievements we should contribute to our society's internet culture by publicizing we should publicize or make publicity of the ideas of the great people in this way we can establish or or encourage the internet culture in our society in this way we see that the writer very strongly favors the use of internet today we see that internet is very useful in connecting the people and sharing the information so that's it about the essay thanks